guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing something slightly different yet again. Um, I've actually done one of these before but this time the lighting is improved, the camera quality is improved. This is Teacher Jude back again and just like the Further Mouse Mechanics video I did, I am now doing a Pure Mouse one. Now this is a question that the first time I saw it I was like what on earth? Oh I should probably turn that off shouldn't I? The first time I saw it I was like what on earth is that? How do I solve this question? What even is it? But now I've done so many of them I'm actually kind of used to it so I'm going to show you what a typical six marker is on a further maths pure exam. This is AS by the way just to let you know. Um, yeah I'm going to get right into it but first I'm actually going to silence the computer because WhatsApp be going off. Done. Okay let's turn over to the whiteboard. I love this whiteboard it's actually so handy. So the question is literally Find the. Like, I'm literally going to do that. But you can't. I am stupid. You can't even see that. If you go to here. Okay. Here we go. You can see the here, can't you? Yeah. Find the square roots of the following. Maybe like, well, um, finding square roots, do not just type it into your calculator and get the answer. No, it's, it actually says in the question, use an algebraic method. And the number is, if I can find, see the question, 3 plus 6 root 2 i. Mm -hmm. You see this? 3 plus 6 root 2 i. These, that's the kind of numbers we work with in further maths. Imaginary numbers. Imaginary numbers are real. Just put them like that. Wait, can I zoom out? No, I cannot. Okay. Um, three plus roots. I feel like I can zoom out. Wait a minute. Apparently I can't zoom out, so I'll just continue. Find the square roots of the following. So, what we know that the number we're looking for, Z, is in the form A plus B, I. And in order for this here to be the square of that, that means you have to square z. z squared equals this. So if z squared is equal to 3 plus 6 root 2 i, then a plus b i squared is equal to 3 plus 6 root 2 i. Now I'm not going to bother with doing the expansion because I have learned the expansion of a plus b i squared off my heart just because it's easier. So the expansion of this is a squared minus b squared plus 2abi that is equal to 3 plus 6 root 2i then what we can do is this thing where you equate the real numbers and you equate the imaginary numbers so for the real numbers we have a squared minus b squared is equal to 3 and for the imaginary numbers we then have 2ab equals 6 root Two. Then, if we work with this, because obviously there's new squared numbers, then see if you can work out what a letter is. So I'm going to say that b is equal to. So we're going to divide by two. I bring that down underneath. So that's going to be three root two over a. And obviously that is slightly more simplified. So b is three root two a. We work something out. So let's go back over here, and I'm going to sub b into this b here. So a squared minus 3 root 2 over a well squared is equal to 3 then if we you know square that you get a squared minus 3 root 2 squared so 3 squared is or 3 squared is 9 root 2 squared is 2 9 times 2 is 18 minus 18 over a squared is equal to 3 then multiply everything by a squared to make sure that there's no squared things on the bottom don't like that so we get a to the power 4 minus 3a squared, I actually just, I brought that over there just because it's easier, minus 18, it's equal to 0. Sometimes I'll just skip this step and go straight to this step, so I go from there straight down to there. When, if you're comfortable enough with it, you can just skip this. Now you may be thinking, how do I solve a quartic? That's a great question, how do you solve a quartic? You don't. You solve a quadratic. Pretend that the a to the power 4 is just an x. Um, 
for a, you, x squared and a to the power of 2 is just x. So I'm going to say that a squared is equal to two numbers and obviously I'm, can't, I'm not going to factorise it. I can't be bothered. Um, I'm just going to use my calculator. So we have m minus 3a squared minus 18. And the answer is a is equal to 6 and a is equal to minus 3a squared this is. So then obviously the next step is we have to square root these numbers so that we can get what a is equal to. So a is equal to plus or minus square root 6 and also equal to plus or minus and you may be going what on earth is the square root of minus 3? You can't do that right? You can. Root 3i. Mm -hmm. Plus or minus obviously. So let's go back. We can probably go from here. So now we have four different values for a that we can sub in to the b equation to get what b is. So if we were two over a, put in a to any of these, then we're going to get our answer. So let's go. Whenever a is equal to root six, b is going to be equal to. I'm obviously going to type this in my calculator because I'm not doing thirds in my head. Three root two divided by root six gives you root three, and then obviously. If a equals minus root 6, then b is going to equal minus root 3. Then if we go to the 3i bit here, if a is equal to root 3i, then what I'll do, and I'll show you this in the calculator, um, if I divide this by root 3, root 3i, can you see that there? You just about can. Divided by root 3i, you get b is equal to minus root 6i and then if a finally is equal to minus root 3i you're obviously going to get b equals 6 root 6i. So we have found four pairs of numbers that whenever you use a plus bi you get the square root. So now what we just need to do is literally write out the square roots. So we have root 6 plus root 3i. Then we also have minus root 6, minus root 3i. And now we need to put these in. So we have root 3i minus root 6i squared. Now, i squared, that's not in the form a plus bi, is it? But whenever you get i squared, i squared is equal to minus 1. So multiply root 6 by minus 1, you get plus. This is the same as root 6 plus root 3i, which as you can see, you already have. And this final one here, so it's going to be minus root 3i plus root 6i squared, because it's bi and bi, when b already has an i, you're going to multiply them obviously. So that gives you, remove that, multiply through by minus 1, minus 6. So that's minus root 6 minus root 3i, which is the same as that. What would you know? So we have worked out the two square roots, which are as follows. I don't want to rub this out. Where should I write it? I know, there's a, actually a happy square in here. Let me get another colour pen. Let's do it in red. Red for blood. Red for vengeance. Red for love. Red is a... Red actually has more positive connotations than negative. However, people assume or associate red with more negative connotations. I don't know why. It's just the thing. I don't make the rules. In this happy square. This happy square, we're going to put the answer. So, a plus bi is equal to root 6 plus root 3i and minus root 6 minus root 3i. And obviously what you can do is, if you're unsure of your answer, go to your calculator, type it in and square it. So, I'm going to type in root 6 plus root 3i. Could you imagine I got this wrong? <laughs> Let me see. You can see that there, right? Mm, focus, focus, focus. Hello? You can just about see that, yeah? Equals 3 plus 6 root 2i. And then if I go ahead and change the signs.
3 plus root 6i. Therefore, we have worked out the square roots of 3 plus 6 root 2i. If you can't tell, these videos are actually draining. Like, really draining. When you're doing them, you're just like, at the end. But it's good for me to be able to explain what I'm doing for a further maths question. It's also a further maths question, and it's hard. But the fact that I can do it makes me happy and makes me confident that I can actually do well in this exam. So, thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and it literally takes two seconds, or even less. Scroll up, click, hit the notification bell, ding, so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And that's all I've got time for today. I'll see you all again next time. Bye.